Methane mitigation matters. Coal mines. Coal mining activities account for approximately 8% of total man-made global methane emissions. And underground mines are the largest source of coal mine methane emissions in most countries. In underground mines, methane can create an explosive hazard to coal miners, so it must be removed. This is commonly done through ventilation systems, which dilute the methane and move it out of the working area. Methane can be removed from mines before or after mining takes place through wells drilled into coal seams. Methane can also be recovered from abandoned or closed mines. Methane recovered from mines can be used as an energy source in many sectors. It can be injected into natural gas pipelines, co-fired in boilers, and converted into fuel for vehicles and electric power. In China, the Suhe coal mine is home to the world's largest power generation project from coal mine methane. Methane recovered from the mine is used to produce electricity, while heat from the exhaust gas is recovered to produce hot water and steam for mining operations. The project is reducing methane emissions by 3.4 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent annually, equal to the emissions from consuming 7.9 million barrels of oil. The Zhongliangshan mine in China is removing coal mine methane to annually supply nearly 58 million cubic meters of gas to more than 100,000 users in the industrial, commercial, and residential sectors. In Australia, the West Vamp power plant is using methane from coal mine ventilation air to generate electricity. Since its inception, the project has generated 218,000 megawatt hours of electricity and reduced methane emissions by 1.5 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent, which is equal to eliminating the consumption of nearly 3.5 million barrels of oil. Mitigating methane matters. Removing methane gas from underground coal mines and using it in profitable and practical ways can improve worker safety, enhance mine productivity, increase revenues, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. For more information, visit www.globalmethane.org.